Welcome back. Hi, how you doing? It's actual Jets news. Not just waiting for Jets stuff to happen. Here, let's speculate. It's Jets news. The Winnipeg Jets have officially hired Scott Arneal as the new team's head coach. This happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. I thought... Now, granted, a lot of the hiring process was asking people and them getting snatched up on jobs. For example, Craig Berube signed with the Leafs. Makes sense. Um, and Sheldon Keefe uh, signed with the New Jersey Devils, which was a little bit surprising to me, but an interesting get nonetheless. There was a couple guys' names who were still out there, obviously. Todd Nelson still is coaching the Hershey Bears right now, and they are having great success in the AHL playoffs as of this point. So I thought maybe we'd have to wait a little bit longer before we could officially confirm it. But apparently the Winnipeg Jets really liked how the interviews went with Scott Arneal. And honestly, I don't hate this decision. I think, though, that a lot of people are split into two camps. One is, look, is pointing at the record the Winnipeg Jets had under Scott Arneal in his very brief stints in Rick Bonus's absence. And the other is looking at Scott Arneal, Scott Arneal as a little bit... He has a little bit of a tempered past, shall we say. Mike Commodore has been very vocal of him and his disdain for him. I believe Brandon Dubinsky is the other one that was extremely vocal of him in his time as a uh, brief time stint as Columbus's head coach. Um, and a lot of people also see this as the not, I don't want to say the not sexy option, but the, 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 the whole wheat toast type of option, the, the less exciting option. And you know what? I see I see both perspectives on that. I really do. Scott O'Neill by far was the safest option on the board for the Winnipeg Jets, as it would have been just an internal promotion, uh, much in the same way that Dave Lowry was an internal promotion from Paul Maurice. Oh boy, I scared you there, didn't I? Um, that being said, I don't think Scott O'Neill... There are things that Scott O'Neill will have to change, obviously. Uh, the power play and penalty, special teams for one, has to completely ne needs an overhaul. Um, I don't think the defensive structure needs to change. I think the defensive players do, but that's on management's job, not on coaching. Coaching is working with what you get. Management is getting the things so people can work with good things. Um... I think he's a good option. I really do. That's why I said in my video, I was like, I don't, he's not bad. It's just, he's, he, he's not the fantasy booker. The fantasy GM in you isn't picking Scott O'Neill. And that's okay. That's totally fine. I'm, I think that Scott O'Neill is going to do fine. Like, good. I think Scott O'Neill is a great choice for the Winnipeg Jets. I think he is going to motivate them. And if he doesn't, I also think that Scott O'Neill as... I think Scott O'Neill has a, has a short leash. I'll put it this way. I think the Winnipeg Jets organization has been a little bit panicking, especially based on the quick in-out of their playoff aspirations this year, especially with a deeper team and a deeper roster and better, a better performances throughout the season. I think Scott O'Neill has a one- to two-year leash on this team, and that's it. And it could be worse if this team spirals. I don't want them to, but I'm just going to throw that out there. That being said, we can't get too far ahead. We have Scott O'Neill now. And Scott O'Neill, honestly, is a coach that demands a lot from his team. And if that means holding players accountable, and if he holds those players accountable when they, even if they're talented, when they do not perform, I will like, I will enjoy Scott O'Neill's tenure as the head coach of the Winnipeg Jets. Because the biggest criticism for Rick Bonus was A, Sc goal scoring was down, which, yeah, that could definitely, that definitely needs to be addressed. And two, not holding players accountable when they aren't performing at an elite level. And that will be the two main things that Scott O'Neill will have to improve. Overall, solid hire. Solid hire. If you wanted me to give a grade from an F to an A grade, he gets probably just a B. It's just a B grade. It wasn't stellar it wasn't it wasn't gonna rock my world but to be honest a coaching decision rarely ever does thanks so much for watching guys hope you're having a great day um and we'll see you next time please comment down below actually how would you grade this this uh hiring and was this the man you hired if not tell me who you wanted instead thank you so much for watching we will always keep you updated and we'll see you next time